And we're back with how to get any joggers on GTA Online. This is how you get modded joggers on GTA. And yes, that's including the white joggers and pink joggers. This one's supposed to be my upload today. No, 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 not at all. But since you guys comment on every single one of my videos asking how I got those white joggers. Today, I finally decided to show you guys the only method of getting them in the game. So if you guys don't like this, I'm sorry, but it's the only way you get the white and pink joggers in the game. You can also get orange, black, red, all the other ones too with this glitch, but it's literally the only way to get them. So again, if you don't like this method, I'm sorry. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button before we start. Let's try to get to 14k subs as soon as possible. So let's try to go for 500 likes on the video. It's a huge like goal. I never said one that big, but I think you guys could smash that. I appreciate you guys clicking the video, but let's get right into it now. Quick disclaimers before we start, this is on any console, so anyone could do it, but a lot of you guys probably know about this glitch, it's been around for a while, but since you guys always ask me how to get the white joggers, this is the only way in the game, so I have to share it with you guys so I can just finally say this is the only way currently in the game. You can also do the transfer glitch, but I don't really count that as a GTA glitch, because it requires you losing all your outfits, and I'm sure like none of you guys want to do that, because I know I don't. So you can search transfer glitch if you want to do that, but I think this is the way better method. But some of you guys may know about it already. I'm sorry about that, but this is the only way of getting them. Anyway, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Let's get right into the video. Alright, so step one, you want to load into story mode. Make sure it's not online. Make sure it has to be story mode. And then you want to just hold the touchpad and enter director mode. Make sure you follow the exact steps in the video, because if you guys have trouble doing this glitch, once you're in director mode, you want to head to actors, which is the first one, head down to online characters, and click triangle or Y on Xbox, so shortlist your actor. I don't know what I'm wearing, don't ask. Then you want to go to animals, and you want to head to a bird, and click triangle on that too. If you don't know how to get the bird, search on YouTube, peyote plant, bird, and there's millions of videos on it. Once you do that, you just want to click circle and leave director mode. Once you leave, you'll find yourself here, you want to head to online, click play GTA online and go don't click invite only or anything like that just make sure it's an online session once you're online you want to head to this location right here so it's a time trail this switches every week so if you're watching this in a while then this won't be here but for this week it's at the military base once you're there you want to make sure you have a parachute on your outfit so as you guys kind of see I have one on it doesn't matter what you're wearing I prefer you wear like joggers and stuff but if you don't have them it doesn't really matter and you want to head into the time trail start it up and join franklin it doesn't have to be franklin it could be any gta online character but since i'm doing franklin's follow the exact steps once you're on hold the touch fed go to director mode and start it up you might get this message just accept it now once you load on to director mode we're gonna head to shoreless actors like we were before. Once you're at shoreless actors, you wanna hold the left stick up or down, but preferably up. And you wanna do this, and you guys will see the birds are duplicating. So, this takes around 25 minutes to half an hour. So, what I like to do is I tie a, like a little wire around my controller and just leave it there for 25 minutes so that's what i prefer like you guys should do and it'll just keep going i'm gonna fast forward it the birds keep duplicating what we're waiting for is for your gt online character to end up with the birds on the haystack so again it takes no less than 20 minutes so i would say around 27 is the exact number so you're just gonna keep going you literally don't do anything it's just tied up right now as you guys are watching, perfect time for you guys to be smashing that like button as well as subscribing to the channel. Road to 40 k baby. So just keep going. As you're waiting, perfect time for you guys to be checking out some of my other glitches. I'm playing. It takes like a full day and night cycle though in the game. So like you'll notice if it's starting the day, you'll probably end up the night. I'm cutting big parts out of it as well, even though I'm fast forwarding. Like... It takes a while. Overall, this glitch takes a while. This wasn't supposed to be my upload at all today. I had another joggers glitch. 
but since on you I know you guys are just gonna ask let me see the white ones or let me see the pink ones let me see the blue ones so this is the only mess in the game if you guys know about it already like uh, I'm sorry but nothing I could really do man. In a few seconds you'll notice that my character finally goes there Alright, so I'm going to slow it down right now because it's about to happen. Look how many birds are there. And there you go, right there, my GTA Online character is on the haystack. Right now I still have my controller tied up, so it kind of glitches like this. So let's go get it. Uh, I think I get it like now. Once you have your control, you want to make sure that it doesn't disappear like that. If it disappears, you just want to head back onto the GTA Online character, head back onto the bird, and make sure it stays. Once it stays, click circle, go to actors, beach bums, it'll take you over here. Now you're on boardwalker, you want to click square for appearance. And now you can go through all these outfits until you find one that you like. So, the requirements for the outfit, it needs to have a Christmas mask. If the outfit does not have a Christmas mask, you cannot pick it. But you guys will notice that all the joggers are in here. It takes some time going through them. You need to match it up though. You could, it doesn't even have to have joggers, but it just can't have any blacklisted items on it. So if you guys know what that is, then make sure it has none of those. But it needs to have a Christmas mask if you want to save the outfit. So eventually, as you guys can see, I'm going through, there's millions of outfits, I've seen some tan joggers there, there's yellow joggers I just passed, blue joggers I just passed. If they had a Christmas mask, I would have definitely took those. So you just want to keep going until you find a Christmas mask and joggers. Or a Christmas mask and an outfit you like, it doesn't have to have joggers on it again. If you guys are still watching this point, make sure you like and subscribe. In this video, I think I'm going to go with the black joggers, so that's what I'm going to look for. Right there's the pink joggers. Those are like the coolest ones. Besides white, what do you think is my favorite? Let me know in the comments which one's your favorite jogger. There's a lot of, uh, they're the orange ones. You pretty much see them all, but it does take a lot of time. So it took me probably 25 minutes to find a Christmas mask and joggers. So it could take you guys 10 seconds and it could take you guys three hours. It's, it's all random, it's all luck. Right here, I find a Christmas mask and joggers. So there's a Christmas mask and tan joggers right there. So I could have went with this outfit. When you're happy with an outfit, you want to click triangle on it to shortlist it. And you could keep scrolling through until you find the one you like. So just in case, I'm going to keep going. A few outfits later, I found black joggers. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to take these. So when you're happy with it, you just want to click triangle on it and it'll shortlist it. So, yeah, those are the black joggers. It has a Christmas mask. I don't know how that's a Christmas mask, but it is. So, once you shortlist it, you want to go off of this. So, click circle. It'll, it'll take you this thing. And then you click circle again. Then you go to shortlist actors. And you'll have your shortlist actors. You might have your online character and the bird still there. It doesn't matter. For some reason, mine disappeared. Then you just want to select the outfit you want. So, these are my two options. I got the tan joggers or the black joggers. The tan joggers are really easy to get. So, I'm going to go with the black. Once you pick the black ones, you want to click X and it'll take you on the side. It'll be right here. You want to walk around for 5 10 seconds. Once you do that, you want to hold the touchpad. You want to head to quit director mode and you want to quit. So, once you quit, you're going to load into story mode wearing that outfit. If you don't, you did something on the glitch wrong. So, there you go, right here. I'm on story mode wearing this outfit. Now, same thing, stay walk around 5 10 seconds. Black joggers are really nice too. I don't know which ones are like more black or white. Then you want to go to online and click play GTA Online Go. And start up a Go session again, just a normal online session. 
Once you get in, you'll notice that you are wearing that exact outfit without the Christmas mask. If you load in not wearing that, that means that it had a blacklisted item on the outfit. So like, you can't bring a duffel bag over, or you can't bring a cop belt over. It will not work. So once you see that they don't go away, but now we just want to quickly head to the nearest clothes store. Just in case, try not to die in this method, and try not to, I don't know, do anything stupid. So we're going to quickly head over to the clothes store, run inside, and now I could edit the outfit. So I'm going to start with tops, as you guys can see, I could edit this jacket, put any clothes I want. The parachute goes away if you just take it off, just like normal. I'm just going to put on a hoodie. If you guys look closely, these black joggers have like a bit of camo on them. I didn't even know that when I picked them. I like the shoes already, so I'm not going to switch them, but you can switch the shoes, you can do whatever you want. If it doesn't let you switch them, that means that there's something like a checkerboard. If you have checkerboard outfit, you will not be able to switch it. It has to be like clean GTA Online stuff. You're able to bring checkerboard stuff over, but it can't have, you can't edit it after. So just save it once you're happy with it. And that's going to be it for the video. If you watch until the end and you don't subscribe, hey, come on. So just click that sub button. Make sure you like. Thank you so much for watching. Comment that you watch all the way to the end. I really, really appreciate you guys. Have a great, great day.